Sami Zayn beating AJ Styles. Um, this, I thought, was a really good match. You had interference from Solo. Again, not exactly ideal, but it made sense here. Sami Zayn's kind of a goof character, and Solo winning actually, or helping him win made sense and further that story. Maybe we get AJ and Solo out of this. Um, I thought this was a really good match, but honestly, I think this might be a bigger indicator of what might be to come. Now, you probably saw over the weekend, Roman Reigns faced AJ Styles at the weekend's house shows, at the live events. So, I don't know. That tells me that they might be headed in a Roman AJ direction. Not anytime soon, obviously. Um, Logan Paul is working with Roman at Crown Jewel in November. Maybe. Honestly, dude, you know, thinking about it now, what about day one? Day one is a possibility. That's going to be in, uh, obviously, you know, January 1st again, but that's going to be in Atlanta. I saw some people saying, oh, what if Cody's back by then, which I doubt. Um, even if he was, that'd be fucking dumb. I would save that for Mania. AJ and Roman in Atlanta sounds like a really fucking great match. And maybe you can run it back at the Rumble if you wanted to, but that might be where this is going. I know we're several months out from that, but that could be planting the seeds for a match between Roman and AJ at some point in the not-too-distant future. Because it's a match we haven't seen since you and I were at Extreme Rules six years ago. No, yeah, I like that. Like you said, I feel like AJ, if anything... He's pretty directionless now, so if they're kind of setting up setting up the uh, steps to get to that feud, I, I like that. Like, it's a perfect, like you said, day one feud, or or even Royal Rumble. They could run it back Royal Rumble if they needed to. So I like if AJ's great, just kind of been in limbo lately. And like I said, I think Sammy and Solo. Like you have the Usos, and they're great. You have Roman and Wise Man, that's great. And then now Sammy and Solo. I just love their dynamic. I think. The whole bloodline as a whole has been firing all cylinders, but now they get like the Sammy solo dynamic. I think it's even better. Oh, it's great. They work wonderfully together. And I would love for AJ, thinking about it now, to be on whatever team that opposes bloodline in war games. And, you know, maybe AJ gets the pin by beating Sammy. Sammy Zayn won here. So maybe he pins, hopefully, if Sammy's still a part of the group by then, which he absolutely should be, it'd be dumb to break him up before then. Um, AJ can pin Sammy, get that win back. And by him picking up the win for his team, that earns him an opportunity at Roman's championship at day one. I mean, just it makes I just booked it right there. To me, it makes perfect sense. But I say that that's ideally. I feel like instead we're going to get AJ in some sort of some sort of mishmash team of him, Edge likely, Ray and someone else against Judgment Day at uh, Survivor Series. And I honestly have very little desire to see that at all. Inside war games, yeah, that is. I was going to say, I was just going to ask you, I was like, with the whole, like, them keep asking to join Judgment Day, like, I don't know, I, I mean, I'm just so out on the group as a whole, so. Just end I it. Just, <laughs> I just really don't want to see it, so <clears throat> it was up to me, I'd skip that. Yeah, maybe you could do a six-man at, um, maybe Crown, I mean, honestly, I would end the Edge feud with Judgment Day after Extreme Rolls anyway, but if Finn wins, you, you know it's probably going to continue. Maybe you could do the six men on Raw. I, I don't know. I just want this to be over as quickly as possible. Do, but do you um, think there's any chance that AJ actually joins Judgment Day? No, nah, I don't think so. They already have. They already had Dominic join. So I feel like them having four members and then Rio that would be five. And I don't think so. I think we're getting to a Finn AJ match, which I think is going to be great because we haven't seen that in five years, almost exactly. So um, I'm cool with that. I think that's going to be awesome. I think I think what they did on Raw was great because like AJ lost. Due to the odds being, you know, not being able to overcome the odds, the numbers game he lost to that. So they're telling the story. Oh, he kind of needs Judgment Day. You know, I, I like that. he's not going to join Judgment Day. I don't think he should, but I, I like the story they're telling there. Although the group sucks, um, I will tell you though, it would be cool for like a one-off pop, just because it would be cool to see, you, you, people like returns. But for a full-on run, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, not to say this is likely. I really don't give a shit about the club getting back together. Not because I don't like the club, but Gallows and Anderson at this point are just abysmal as a tag team. I have, I know you are out on that as well. Oh my god, I'm so <laughs> over the club. I actually like them in WWE, but once they went to like AEW and Impact, like I'm so. I mean, even at the end of WWE, WWE they kind of meant nothing. Like that, but no, thank you. You, you, I, I agree, and they actually had a decent run in Impact, but the AEW stuff was terrible, never had any proper payoff, and uh, I haven't seen much of their stuff in New Japan lately, but I have, I have yet to see like a truly great match of theirs lately. They had a pretty good match about a week ago on Impact with, um, I think it was the Machine Guns, they had a good match, but I mean, that's the fucking Machine Guns, no surprise there. I, I don't know, even towards their time, towards the end of their time in WWE, they won that awful best in the world tag team tournament at Crown Jewel, which was awful. They were booked like lackeys in the club. The group was never really a threat. 
Um, they were just fucking bums. I feel like a- after the whole old day thing, <laughs> that was when they peaked. After that, that was awful. With the New Day six years ago, they never recovered from that shit. Yeah, at this point, the, the quote, the great Brian Lash are the grown brothers to me. <laughs> Every time I see them, I'm like, oh my God, them again. Would they, would you say they are the definition of damaged goods? Yes. Yeah, I, I would agree. And this is, this is coming from someone who was a club fan at one point, and you probably turned that club shirt that you had into a blanket by now, right? I didn't have a club shirt. Molly did. Oh, really? I thought you had one. No, I don't, I don't have a club shirt. Molly does. Wow. Okay. I thought you were turning your back on the club, but I guess not because you never had a shirt to begin with. Very interesting.